Okay, so this is a really big production uh, efficiency, and that is we've already set up the video, uh, the feedback for the video conference. We can just duplicate this now two times, so I can just uh, right click and choose duplicate question. Even though it's a blank slide, we're just it's called the question slide. So I duplicate it once, and then duplicate it one more time. Now we'll have to make some changes here because each of these obviously uh, reads video conference, but we know that the very first one is the true video conference, and the second one would be Skype because that's the order that we created these in. So let's go ahead now and just open up the second one and begin updating it. So the really going to change the title here, so Skype. And if I move over here into slide view now, you can see the title has been updated and we're on the Skype slide. So this means that if you're on the Skype slide, it means you made the correct choice. You didn't make, you didn't select either the telecon, the video conference or the teleconference. That means we can actually fade these out and really de-emphasize them. So I don't need the feedback, right? The learner made the correct choice, the best choice in this example. And now we can just go ahead and fade out these graphics. So if I right click the graphic and choose format picture, you can dial this transparency up to around 75. Looks good. I'll select this other one. I don't have to close this window. can keep it open and come over here and 75. So that's a quick way to de-emphasize the choices the learner didn't make while emphasizing the choices, or in this case, the good choices the learner did make. Click close. Everything else looks good. Go ahead and save and close. And I'll do it to uh, the third option. In this case, this would be teleconference. So I just need to change this. And so if the learner's on this slide, that means they made the wrong choice. They selected teleconference. So we want to show that they, this was not the right one. So we're going to right click this graphic. We're going to choose change picture. We're actually going to replace it with the incorrect icon. Go ahead and select it. Click open. And that just puts it right in place. We want to show the correct choice, which is the Skype. And now we want to de-emphasize video conference because that wasn't even selected. So we'll format this one. Use 75% transparency, click close, and I'm actually just going to delete that feedback icon. We don't need to show that because the learner didn't make that choice. Now if I save and close, just need to come back up here to the first one we created. Remember, we the title's correct, but we left everything in place. So this implies that they uh, selected video conference. Well, video conference is not correct, so we select its icon, change picture, and let's go ahead and do the same thing with the transparency to the teleconference, de-emphasize that. So format picture, and 75, and let's just delete the icon. So now we have personalized feedback for each choice the learner makes. We're actually showing them what they selected, and then also showing them what they should have selected, or in this case, what the best choice would have been. So save and close. And we're about finished with the project. At this point, we should test it to make sure everything is working. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. So preview. So here's our choice. Hover over each of these and we see our three choices. We make a choice, say Skype. So already something's not right, right? It looks like shuffle is probably selected by default. So here's my shuffling. Click submit. And I get in the feedback box that we initially set up. So there's a few things left to do, right? We want to remove this feedback, this generic feedback, the correct and incorrect and actually just not show it and then move into providing the feedback. Because what's happening here is we're seeing the feedback for each of these. And if I click Next, I'm just going to cycle through each of my uh, choices. We don't want that. We want the learner to only see one feedback slide and then move on to the next question. So we need to set some branching up and we also need to work with uh, how that default question feedback is set up. And we'll do that in the next movie.